There is a film in this series of mine that shows you how to use a simple extrude tool, this one here. Uh, but I'm going to show you a couple of variations on it this time. So if we choose simple extrude, uh, we know we can do that. And if we use this one here, quick pull, we can go over the sides and we can pull the sides out, do that sort of thing. It's a sort of a, it's a tool nicked from um, Google SketchUp. It's quite a useful tool. So let's just uh, go back a few stages there. When we choose Simple Extrude, if we right click and go to Properties, here, Simple Extrude Shape, now here we can see we can mess about with it a little bit. A draft angle. So for anybody making uh, mold, uh, objects to be made in moulds, you'd need a draft angle. So if I put in there, say, 12, which is bigger than you would use, but just so that we can see it, and then click OK, then when I bring that up, you can see it looks the same until I click my left mouse button. And then I've got a draft. Also, if I go back again here with the properties, I've also got an offset here. So if I give that an offset as well, I'll give it, let's say, a 15 offset, then what you can see is something rather different. It's sort of like we've got a pot. If I, um, if I then use this simple extrude, if I click onto that top and take it, it will continue the draft. If, however, I go back to properties and take off the draft and make that naught, then when I go up, I can create that sort of shape. Now, if I go back and put that draft on again, properties for this one here, draft angle 12, uh, and I'll take off the offset this time, make that naught. Let's work on this one now. Now, the, uh, the draft is still on, so it still will relate to the push-pull. So if I do the push-pull, although you'll see that comes out uh, looking quite regular, when I left click, you see the draft has carried on, which means I can start to make some rather interesting shapes. Let's have a look at it in uh, a different visual style, hidden line, and we can really see what we're doing. So I can then, see, I can use this to create very quickly all sorts of quite interesting shapes. You know, if you were experimenting with a building or a piece of packaging or something, you can see that's it's very quick and you know, I think quite interesting. It's a nice little tool, as you can see, nice, quick and easy to use. So that's the, the simple extrude and the what's called quick pull. I always call it push pull. I think SketchUp calls it push pull. And obviously you've got to remember you've got to go to properties, which is grayed out because I've not picked it, uh, to give it a draft or to give it this offset. Okay, that's as simple as that.